four minutes gone. Beth Mee will take this corner kick. Rafael is up from the back, winning two. Miedemar's left all alone! Off the line by Letizia. Poor marking. Should have scored. Letizia well positioned. Now here's Kagman. Could have an hour gone with this free kick. It's into Koi Vista! A Brightner ahead! 17 to 1 with the bookies to win tonight. It's their first goal in over 10 and a half hours of football. Sensational. Surely the keeper, Sinsberger, should have done better here because she gets a hand on it. Lovely delivery. Cuivisto gets a second for Brighton this season. What a stunner that is for the league leaders. And here's Jordan Nobbs. Arsenal have been poor. Oh, and that's very poor. That sums up their first half performance, really. Sensitive and under par. Well, the guys have come out here in the second half uh, hungrier and more direct is Tobin Heath. Goodness me, she was direct there. Crossing the save out of Megan Walsh. That's what Arsenal are about now. Direct going for the equaliser. Ten minutes gone in the second half. He will take this free kick. Come all the way through. Minimal. She's levelled for Arsenal and got a customary goal against Brighton. Lovely delivery in by me. Miedemar's onside and poaches the equaliser. Goal number 15 of the season for her. And all of a sudden the whole game has turned. Heath won it back. More competitive in this second half. There's the run by Mead and the free kick. Oh, it's gone the way of Arsenal. Well, I thought she initiated the contact with Victoria Williams. And Arsenal have this free kick. And Mead will take it herself. And it's in! They're ahead. Two goals in four minutes. Brighton will complain. Megan Walsh gave herself far too much to do behind the wall. And Mead exploited the space. And Arsenal are 2-1 up. They have turned the game on its head. Much more like it in this second half from the league leaders. Bending beautifully. Here's Heath. All of a sudden, Brighton with it. Lose it again. Here's Meadham up. Got the goal. That's a much better save by Megan Walsh. And in the end, Arsenal could have won it comfortably. They've won it. They had to come from behind to do so. But they open up the four-point gap at the top once again.